Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Our story today is called The Deception. And the word deception is just a big word used in case you want to fool someone. And you may know it as Joshua and the Gibeonites, and that is taken from Joshua chapter 9. And as always, I will encourage you to read Joshua chapter 9 so you can see the whole story. Our action text is taken from Joshua 9, 19. And it says, But the leaders answered, We have given our promise before the Lord, the God of Israel. We cannot attack them now. And this is from the International Children Bible. When last we left Joshua and the Israelites, they were celebrating because they won the second battle of Ai. Now they were individuals who heard of the Israelites and they were scared. A lot of the kings decided that they were gonna team up together. But those from Gibeon, the Gibeonites said, no, 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 we are not going to do that. We cannot win these guys, so we have to come up with a plan. So they spoke about the plan. And after speaking about the plan, they decided to leave and they traveled to the Israelites. What is the plan? I'm glad you asked that. I am going to tell you in a short while. They traveled until they got to the Israelites. And when they saw the Israelites, they said to them, Oh, you great Israelites, we have traveled a long way, which is not true. They were deceiving them because they lived close by. And the Israelites said, Really? He said, they said, Yes, we came to make peace with you. And the Israelites were a little suspicious. They were like, how are we to know that you are not one of our neighbors? They said, look at our clothes. When we left our clothes, they were new, our shoes were new. Even look at this bread. When we left, the bread was hot and nice. Now it's moly. Look at our drink. Our drink tasted well when we left. No, it's, it's not tasting good at all. So they looked at their clothes. They looked at their bread. And they said, you know what? Mm, this doesn't taste good. They don't look well at all. They are probably from afar. So they made peace with them. Now keep in mind, they were supposed to consult with God what to do because God had told them when they got on that side of the land, they were supposed to fight and clear out the land and get rid of everyone. But it seemed obvious to them and they did not consult the Lord. Soon after, they found out, wait a second, these people live close by. And they visited them three days later. So they went to them and said, why did you lie to us? And they were like, well, hey, I heard what you guys have been doing. Uh, we just wanted to make peace. We were scared. Uh, that you know, you guys can do anything you want with us now, but that's what we did. And Joshua said, you know what? We made peace with these people. We can't fight with them now. God will be upset with us. We have to keep our word. And the people, they were so upset with Joshua and the leaders when they did that. So Joshua went to him and said, you know, elders, we made our word with you. So what we're going to do, we are going to keep our word. But from now on, you are going to carry our wood and our water. And you are going to serve us. You are going to be yours. You said you wanted to be our servants, so you will serve. So as a result, these are one set of people that Joshua and the Israelites did not fight or kill. And I could imagine the Gibeonites, after Joshua said that to them, they probably said, Joshua, I know you guys may be vexed, but our people knew we would be next. You figure we are under your curse, but if we didn't do it, things will be worse. 
We know God gave you this land, and against you, we cannot stand. So we will carry your water and wood and serve you the best that we could. Now, boys and girls, are you ready for question time? Question number one. Who deceived the Israelites? Was it the big whites? Two, B, the Gibbons, C, the Gibbonites, or D, the Hittites? And if you say C, that would be C as incorrect. It is the Gibbonites. Question number two. The travelers told the Israelites that A, they lived a few miles away, B, they had a dream about them, C, they wanted to be neighbors, or D, they had traveled a long distance. Question is, D, answer is D, they had traveled a long distance. All right, question number three. When the Israelites realized they were deceived, A, they were upset with their leaders, B, they fought the Gibbonites, C, they said, hmm, no harm, no foul, or D, they went to another city and forgot the Gibbonites. And if you say A, you are correct again. They were upset with their leaders. And finally, Question number four. This story reminds us that A, we always need God's advice. B, big people don't need advice. C, if people fool us, we need to fight with them. Or D, we are allowed to make one mistake a year. And that answer is A. We always need God's advice. So boys and girls, even though it seems like a small situation, always consult the Lord when you want to make things happen. All right, it is prayer time. So let us bow our heads, and let us close our eyes. Dear Jesus, please help us to place you first in all our decisions. Help us to trust you, we pray. Amen. Well, boys and girls, I thank you so much for watching Uncle C's Bible Lessons. If you want to write to Uncle C, my email address is UncleCBibleLessons at gmail.com. And as always, please have your parents permission before you write. Until next time, this is Uncle C signing off. And remember, Jesus loves you very much.